Welcome to Mars Saga, your gateway to the Red Planet. Subscribe now and join the journey. Beneath the crimson deserts and silent valleys of Mars lies a world that we've only begun to imagine. A hidden realm, untouched, unseen, and yet more alive in geological memory than the barren plains above it. For decades, scientists have looked up to Mars, studying its atmosphere and canyons, but now the real focus has turned downward, into the mysteries buried beneath the red dust. Under the Martian surface, kilometers of layered rock, ancient ice, and hollowed lava tunnels hold the evidence of a planet that once breathed, bled, and changed like our own. Mars is not just dead rock, it is a fossilized engine of planetary evolution, preserving the story of time itself. From orbit, radar waves sent by spacecraft like MRO and Mars Express have bounced back signals that defy expectations. What they reveal is astonishing, deep deposits of water ice, perhaps mixed with salt and sediment, stretching across the poles and into the mid-latitudes. These layers, stacked one atop another, are not random, they are history books. Each strata marks a different era of climate, a record of when Mars tilted on its axis, when its atmosphere thickened and thinned, and when snow and ice blanketed regions now baked in sunlight. The planet's underground tells us that Mars once went through rhythmic cycles, cold ages, warm interludes, and violent transformations. But ice isn't the only secret. In recent years, orbiters have identified vast cave systems, lava tubes formed when ancient molten rivers drained beneath the crust. These tunnels, stretching for miles, remain sealed and protected from radiation, making them perfect natural shelters. If humans ever settle Mars, these may be our first homes. But more importantly, they could also have been homes before, long before us. Deep inside these shadowed cavities, where sunlight never touches, the environment might have once been stable enough to protect microbial life from the planet's harsh surface conditions. If Mars ever harbored life, these tubes and underground aquifers are where traces might still remain. Organic molecules detected by Curiosity and Perseverance rovers hint at a chemical legacy of potential biology, and the radar echoes from the South Pole, which some believe may indicate briny liquid water beneath the ice, only deepen the mystery. The search for life beneath Mars is a story of instruments, patience, and imagination. The European Space Agency's Mars Express used Marsis radar to scan the south polar layers, finding anomalies consistent with subglacial lakes, though others argue they could be metallic minerals or frozen clay. The debate continues, but one fact is certain. Mars is geologically active in ways we didn't fully expect. Its interior still whispers heat. Seismic data from NASA's InSight lander have given us a rare glimpse into the planet's internal rhythm. Each Mars quake reveals something about what lies below, the thickness of the crust, the depth of the mantle, the molten nature of the core. Unlike Earth, Mars lacks tectonic plates, but its surface still flexes, cracks, and resonates. Some quakes originate near regions of volcanic history, suggesting that deep thermal currents may still stir within. The red planet, it seems, hasn't gone completely cold. Scientists believe that billions of years ago, Mars had a magnetic field strong enough to shield its atmosphere, allowing water to remain on the surface. When that field collapsed, solar winds stripped away most of the air, freezing the surface and drying the rivers, but below the crust, geothermal heat may have persisted, creating pockets of warmth where liquid water could have survived far longer. That's where hope lives today, in the deep Martian underground, beyond the reach of radiation and time. Exploring those depths won't be easy. The rovers we've sent, Perseverance, Curiosity, Spirit, and Opportunity, are surface wanderers. They dig, drill, and scan, but none can truly descend into the world beneath. That task will belong to future missions, ones designed to drill kilometers deep, to melt through ice, and to listen for chemical whispers that only ancient rocks can tell. Imagine standing at the rim of a Martian cave, peering into darkness that has remained untouched for billions of years. The floor is covered in red dust, the ceiling shaped by flowing lava. 
Every sound echoes like a heartbeat. In that silence, the planet itself feels alive, quiet, patient, and waiting. Radar imaging has also revealed vast layers of ice buried beneath the equatorial plains, protected under thin blankets of soil. These deposits could serve as a vital resource for future explorers, but they also mark the shifting climate of Mars, a reminder that this planet once cycled through eras when its poles melted and refroze, just as Earth's do. One of the most intriguing regions for subsurface exploration is Elysium Planitia, where InSight recorded multiple quakes. The data suggest volcanic activity occurred relatively recently, perhaps only a few million years ago. If Mars still has magma pockets or geothermal vents, they could sustain subsurface habitats even today. Not for large organisms, but for microscopic survivors adapted to the unthinkable. And then there's methane. Orbiters and rovers have occasionally detected traces of it, fleeting and inconsistent. On Earth, methane is mostly produced by biological processes. On Mars, it might come from geological reactions, serpentinization, the chemical dance between rock and water, or perhaps from deeper hidden reservoirs. Whatever the source, it raises a thrilling possibility that the underground may still be active, chemically or even biologically. Future missions like ExoMars and the Mars Ice Mapper are being built to go deeper than ever before. Their goal, to locate ice, search for organics, and map underground networks with precision. Scientists are designing drills capable of piercing through frozen soil and robotic probes that can travel into lava tubes using autonomous navigation. The dream is to one day uncover a sample untouched by radiation, a piece of Mars that still carries the scent of its past. But beneath the science lies a deeper question, one that goes beyond geology. What does it mean if we find something alive beneath Mars? Not a fossil, not a trace, but an organism still clinging to existence. Would that prove life is universal? That nature writes itself wherever the conditions allow? Or would it remind us how fragile and rare life truly is? How easily it can retreat into the darkness when its world begins to die? Mars teaches us patience. Its secrets don't shout. They whisper through data, through faint signals and chemical clues. Every layer of rock, every echo of radar, every tremor beneath its crust is a page in the story of a planet that once had everything and lost it. Yet even in loss, it endures. The mysteries beneath Mars are not just about what's hidden. They're about resilience, about time's power to reshape and preserve. And as we stand on the edge of a new age of exploration, our greatest discoveries may not come from the stars above, but from the silence below. Thanks for watching. You're watching Red Legacy.